Okay, everybody, my broth is still cooking away, but I'm getting started on my chicken pot pie. Uh, it's a great time of year to be eating uh, a great uh, comfort dish like this. To make it, I'm using leftover rotisserie chicken, all shredded up by hand. I have two um, carrots that I cut into tiny, you know, chopped up little morsels, so not, not big chunks. Did the same thing with two potatoes. I used uh, yellow golden potatoes, but russets will work just as well. Um, I have a half chopped up onion, and then I'm going to use two cups of frozen corn and frozen peas. And we'll put that all together. And what do you think I'm going to bake my chicken pot pie in? I have it right here. It is the Pamper Chef Round Covered Baker. Um, for the ingredients and the amount of ingredients I have, this is the perfect size for what I'm making. But if you have a whole entire chicken and you're feeding perhaps about six people, the deep cover baker would be better option for you. But I'm using this and I think with the stoneware on the inside and a nice brown crust on the outside, this is going to be perfect. The crust I'm using is an already um, uh, frozen variety that you find in the um, dairy aisle is where you find the frozen pie crusts. So what I'm going to do is melt some butter in a deep frying pan and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, saute my carrots and onions first. And um, the crispiness and um, caramelization from the onions will uh, bake itself into the uh, pot pie a little, uh, and you'll get a little more flavor that way than if you just boiled everything together. Because after I saute just those carrots and onions, then I'll add some more water to the frying pan, cook up the potatoes and veggies a little bit, then mix it all together with my uh, meat. And after that is when we'll make a velouté sauce and pour that all over the uh, inside of our pot pie. I'll cover it on top with the pie crust and bake it until it's golden brown. It's gonna be great. But let me just show you what I do with these vegetables. So I have um, just a tablespoon of butter down here. And uh, just to be on the safe side that the butter, butter doesn't burn, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, oil. Have you ever done that? Um, fried things in a combination of both oil and butter? The oil, you know, make sure that it doesn't stick to the pan and the butter adds flavor, doesn't it? Okay, it's going sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. So just when um, the onion is translucent, I say, is when I'd add the rest of my vegetables and just get them softened up a little bit and that's when we add them into the chicken. Um, once I have that, I'll get back to you.